Hi everybody, Kevin Rudd from Supertech Electronics and today we're going to show you some of the uh, things you can do for your Prado Kakadu if it's giving you issues. Uh, it is very similar to a Sahara and the fault you may have is no sound. Now the trouble is with one of these units all modules have to work in order to get sound. If you're running a unit with it's got a roof mount DVD player DVD player, uh, it must work otherwise you will have no sound. If your amplifier isn't working you won't have sound. So there is a simple diagnostic menu you can get into that will clarify what part of your system is breaking down and this video is here to show you how to run that through and diagnose what's going on with your car. So we're going to turn on the entertainment system and as soon as it all fires up okay we're going to go past that now we're going to press and hold info and we're going to turn the headlights three times and that will bring up diagnostic menu. Alrighty, this car is fully working so it's 100% okay. So we're going to show you what you should get with your failure diagnosis system check. And all those blue okays mean everything in the car is working. This little green light flashing means it's picking up my voice. That's the microphone. So this is great. What we are going to do is unplug the amplifier and show you what will happen if the amplifier is simulated faulty. Okay, so we've unplugged just that lead to simulate the amplifier is faulty. That lives under the driver's seat. Okay, so we've unplugged the amplifier. We're going to do a failure diagnostic check again. And we're going to go system check. Now this is going to take a little longer because now it's trying to find an amplifier that clearly isn't plugged in. We've unplugged it. Uh, so we'll just give it a minute or two. There we go. Okay, so it's come up as most, which is diagnostic it has a problem. And the amplifier and audio no longer have an okay. So we can press the most, and it's going to tell us exactly what's going on. Okay, <clears throat> it's telling us the EMV is okay, which is this part here, but the amplifier and audio section not connected. So straight away, if you get that symptom on yours and you haven't unplugged anything, you know the amplifier is at fault. Okay, so we've unplugged the CD player now. We're now running the same system check uh, just to simulate what's going on. We've plugged the amplifier back in, so this will give us a whole new symptom altogether. Uh, so once again, it takes a little time because it's checking through to find out what's, uh, what's working and what's not. Okay, so the most buttons come up again. We're going to hit the most button and let it do a check. And this time the amplifiers come up fine. Audio's come up not connected. So once again, we've simulated the CD player is not connected. Um, so that's pretty well cleared it up. That's, that's shown us that the CD player is faulty. Send that off for repair. Okay, so if you had an overhead DVD player, that would come up as an RSE not connected. Um, and that would, that would show that that part of it's faulty. So hopefully this has uh, helped you out at what to send off to Supertech Electronics for repair.